Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I will be doing this peachy glowy look. So if you want to learn how to get this, just keep on watching. So to start this off, I like to moisturize my lips with the Glossier Balm.com Universal Skin Self. So for this look, I'm going in with the Too Faced Sweet Peach Palette. So I already primed my eyelids with the Urban Decay Eyeshadow Primer Potion in Original. And to set that, I'm taking Peaches and Cream. For my crease, I'm adding some definition by taking Puree on a Morphe M433. Using a Morphe R39, I'm taking Candied Peach on my eyelids and I like to pack this on because this Candied Peach has pink reflex in it. Next I highlight my inner corner and my brow bone, I take Nectar which is a nice light champagne gold color. So for mascara, I'm going in with the Essence Volume Stylus 18 hour curled and hold mascara and also the Benefit Roller Lash. Right after using the Essence Mascara, I like to go right in with the Roller Lash. This I like because it has spikes in it, so it just combs right through it and separates my lashes. And you can kind of see the difference right there. So you can definitely leave your lashes like this, but I like to go with the Azarito Cosmetics Lashes in Doll. And this is right now my current favorite for everyday lashes because they're so light and fluffy. They give me just enough flirt and girly look into this so you can definitely pick these up I'll put a link down below and you can use my discount code of Erica 10 so I'll quickly show you as you can see it's an invisible band and they're very thin and they're not hard at all they're very flexible Let's see so I really love these and I highly recommend these ooh, for beginners and now you'll see how easy these are to put on oh god I'm going to try and get them as close to my lash line as possible. And that's it. Look at the difference. I love these lashes. Mm -mm. And there we go. And I did forget to mention what I also love about these is that they're vegan and cruelty free, which is the best of both worlds. So moving on to face, I'm going in with the Tatcha Water Gel Primer and I love this for a dewy glowy look. So just gonna take a little bit and add that. So for foundation, I'm going in with the Tarte Hybrid Gel Foundation and I absolutely love this foundation because it gives a medium coverage which can be built up but it is exactly what it says, a gel. It just melts into your face and I absolutely love it for everyday wear and it gives me a dewy glow. I'm going to take some on my wet Morphe sponge and just start adding little by little. And make sure to get your ears as well. So as you can see, my face looks very dewy and glowy, which that's exactly what this foundation does, and I love it. You can still kind of see some dark marks and bumps, but I don't really mind that because I'm human. And I will cover that up with a little bit of concealer. Taking the ColourPop No Filter Concealer in shade medium 30, I'm just going to conceal under my eyes and cover up some of the dark circles. So I'm only taking a little bit. I love this paddle brush that it has too. 
just a little tiny bit. So I'm not really highlighting, I'm just concealing. Going in with my Laura Mercier translucent powder to set the concealer. So this is what I have going as a base, still looking glowy, which I like, and these bumps, I'm sorry guys. So now for lower lashes, I'm taking the same colors that I use in the Too Faced Sweet Peach palette and just putting that on my lower lash line. Taking peaches and cream first. And then some puree. And then some candied peach. And then to make me look more awake, I'm taking the ColourPop Cream Gel and Exit. Taking Maybelline Colossal Big Shot Mascara for my lower lashes. Now for highlight, I'm going to take the Fenty Beauty Killer Highlight in Girl Next Door and Chick Freak. Just taking a little bit and then we'll work from there. So you can't really tell, but you can see the glow. It's a little bit too pink. So I'm gonna take the Ofra Rodeo Drive Highlight, which is a nice gold color. It's very intense. So again, just taking a little bit, just a little, and then hitting some of that off. Putting that right on top. This will make you look like you are drenched. So for bronzer and for blush, I'm taking both both of these, excuse me, ColourPop Press Powders. And I don't have exactly the name for them, but I will write them down below and I will also try and link them down for you. Taking the bronzer first to warm up my face. Taking a little bit. And I like to hug it right under the highlight. And then I like to take that on my forehead. Don't mind my baby's hairs going all over the place. So for blush, I'm going to take this peachy pink color, which I love so much. But you go little by little and then work your way up. That's what I suggest because they are very, very pigmented. So I'm kind of just putting that on the apples of my cheek for some color. And now for lips, I'm taking the Dose of Colors Desi and Katie collab lipstick and more creamer, please. So you can absolutely finish here, but I'm going to top it off with the Dose of Colors and Desi and Katie collab again in over the top lip gloss. So for setting spray, I'm going in with the Carver FX Illuminating Setting Spray. This does have glitter, so you gotta shake it up very well. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, so this is the finished look. I hope you guys truly enjoyed this video. I hope it was very easy for you guys to follow. If you did like it and enjoy it, please go ahead and comment down below and let me know your guys' thoughts. And don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe down below. I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye!